Hey folks, it's James here with uh, All For Grass. Hey, I've uh, been wanting to do a review on this new shoe that I got. Uh, I heard lots of reviews online about it. And, uh, you know, it's supposed to be a, a shoe made for, you know, people like you and me. People who mow yards and work in the yard and stuff. So, it's, uh, here's the shoe. I'll just go ahead and show it to you. So, before we get into it, we'll talk about the pros and the cons a little bit. Uh, the shoe's pretty good, pretty well made. I mean, I like the feel. It's uh, pretty light. It's uh, Cujo, I think is how you pronounce the, the actual brand. But this company designed this shoe just for yard workers, so I had to give it a shot. So a few pros. I really like the the front toe here. You know, it, it's nice and waterproof. So early in the morning, you know, when you're working out in the yard and the dew and stuff doesn't get all on your toes and get your feet wet. They claim that this shoe is waterproof. I would say it's water resistant uh, because it is breathable. So uh, there's gonna you're gonna get some moisture in here. Um, another pro is you know what they send you two sets of laces, a green pair and a gray pair. You know, as a as a yard guy, you know, I, I probably replace shoes in my or shoe strings probably every year, um, just because I'll wind up breaking them at some point. I like the construction, I like the design, the colors are kind of cool. Uh, as you can tell, it kind it almost matches my shirt that I wear every day. Um, another pro is it's really light uh, compared to like a work boot or something like that. So I found that to be a, a good thing is it's light and um, it's pretty wide. So if you have a wide forefoot like I do, it'll work really well. And it seems to be stitched pretty well. So you can see all the, the fine stitching here and, and even the backside, it's got pretty good stitching. Overall, I'd say it's a good shoe. Overall, I'd say, you know, I'm not sure that it's it's worth a hundred and something dollars, which is what it cost me. Um, you know, they claim that it has aggressive tread. I'm not really sure. I would say that's aggressive tread in my in my opinion. It, it's definitely good rubber. It's definitely good for a slip resistant. But aggressive tread, in my opinion, would be like teeth, right? Not not flat surface. So I'm not sure I would say it has aggressive tread, but it's definitely slip resistant. Another con that I found is it's uh, it's not true to size. It, it's actually larger. So like myself, I wear 11 and a half tennis shoe. So I ordered 11 and a half and, and it's kind of big. It's, it's a little too big for my foot. Um, so if you're ordering this shoe, make sure you order it, you know, probably a little smaller than than what you normally wear because i would say it's probably close to a half a half size too big um the other thing is you know like i said it's not very aggressive tread pattern but if you look at the shoe itself you know it doesn't have any arch support in it which for me it doesn't work well because i need arch support i have high arches um if i pay a hundred something dollars for a shoe you know i i don't want to have to go buy a thirty or forty dollar pair of arch supports to put in here just so I can wear the shoe so if you're flat footed I think this shoe would be awesome for you but if you have if you have high arches and you buy this shoe then you're gonna have to go buy some arch supports that's just all there is to it I wore this shoe for I got it two days ago and I've worn it for a day and um, yeah by the end of the first day man my my arch was killing me so I'm definitely gonna have to buy some arch supports if I continue to keep this shoe which for a hundred dollars, I'm I'm keeping it. Uh, I'm not not sending it back, and I'm definitely not going to throw it away for for what I spent on it. Uh, another con that I found with the shoe is it's uh the sides are kind of flimsy. So like if you're looking for some kind of support on your ankle, mm, it's not there, not there at all. And I'm pretty sure the shoe is not made in the USA. But let's find out real quick. Yep, made in China. And the reason why I say that is because it's it's laced incorrectly when you get it. Like, you know how most of us lace our shoes or we go 
over the top, right? Well, international shoes go underneath. So when you first get the shoe, I had to relace it because, you know, the underneath lacing, although it gives you a good tight on your tight fit on your foot, uh, it's not easy to loosen and to where you can actually get your foot in it, which maybe that's the reason why they put this tab on the back. But, but anyway, I had to relace it because, you know, you could tell it was done in an international and sure enough, you know, it's made in China. So that being said though, overall, this is a good shoe for working out in the yard. Um, I haven't really put it through the test yet. Like I said, I've only worn it one day, but for aggressive patterns on the on the bottom, it does not have aggressive patterns at all. Like I said, I would expect to see some teeth and this is, you know, pretty flat with just rubber rubber pieces that stick up to help you give you more grip. Uh, I actually wear a um, a Realtek hunting shoe slash boot um, that's waterproof and has some really aggressive tread patterns on the bottom. It gives me some really good ankle support. Um, but you know what? I used to be, I used to wear New Balances like everybody else. I love New Balance. I love the cross country New Balance shoe, but you know, for comfort, it's great, but that's about it. <laughs> it doesn't give you any kind of water resistance. It doesn't help you with, you know, your shoes always get nasty where these look like they would probably clean off pretty easily. But besides that, you know what? Overall, like I said, it's worth the buy if you're looking for a good yard shoe. If you're flat footed and have a wide forefoot like I do, you know, it, it's, it's, it's worth it. But not sure I would, I would buy it again just because now, like I said, I've got to go buy $50 arch supports just to, just to make the shoe comfortable for me. So again, that's my review. Uh, like it, love it. Nah, doesn't matter. It's just one opinion to another. All right, guys, have a good one.